I am uploading vlogtober day 4 and then I am going to drink some coffee and read my book. That's the plan. So, in this book, there is a woman who is named Lala. And the only person I can picture when reading that name is Lala in books. I mean, she has a very sweet voice, so that's the only person I can picture in this book, which is a lot of fun, though. So, I don't know, it's, it's just some random thing, I thought. So, there is this part in the book where um, the main character, Tiger, attacks another girl because she's so angry and it really gives me a Monster Calls vibes when Connor attacks another boy and that is just so sad so I'll just, I'll just keep reading but I just had to mention that okay I'm on page 364 now so I don't know how much I still have to read but it's not that much I think 40 pages something like that but that story took a turn real quick I was not expecting this and I don't know how to feel about it so the story just turned from sad too bad real quickly. Not that it's a bad story, I, I don't mean that. I mean that the situation for Tiger got really bad real quickly. So I'll just shut up now and finish this book because I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I have finished my book. How to make friends with the dark, Kathleen Glasgow, four stars. I am giving this book four stars because I really did love the story and it is, well, it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. However, for me personally, there were some loose ends um, that weren't really tied up in the end. And that's my opinion. And the writing style, the present tense, really put me off at the beginning. So this is a four star read for me and it was very emotional. I cried and I did really love it. So now I'm just going to take a shower and clear my head of this book so I can start Sabrina Season of the Witch by Sarah Rees Brennan um, because this is a little more well, a very different book. This is fantasy. This is Sabrina. Uh, I loved the Netflix show very much. And this is the prequel for the Netflix show. And this is a little more of an October read for me. A little more spooky, a little more witchy. So I'm excited to be starting this. I got myself a fresh cauliflower. So today it is finally time for cauliflower soup. And I am very happy about that little fact. I am really enjoying Season of the Witch. It is so much like the show and it really makes me want to watch it. But instead of reading further, I am at page 
99 now. Um, I had my dinner, which was wonderful soup. And now I'm watching Riverdale because I found out that I had five more episodes to watch. I didn't even realize that. Because season four comes out next week or it starts again next week. I don't know if it will be out all at once or if it will be like the last season's an episode a week, which I don't like. I prefer binge watching my things because I will just forget about it otherwise. Um, anyway, um, almost done with this episode, so I will continue reading then. And afterwards, um, or well, tonight or soon, I am going to watch Strictly Come Dancing because that's my favorite show of the year. And yeah, I guess after that I will go to sleep. Today was a very nice day. I read all day, that's all I did. And I made soup, finally. And I watched some Strictly and I knitted on my socks. Um, it was a good day. The vlog for tomorrow will be a little different because I don't have any time to film tomorrow. So I have planned something in advance that you hopefully will like. So thank you for watching again. And I will see you tomorrow, just a little different than today. Good night.